Yo, check it out here with the brand new Lenovo IdeaTab A2107 tablet PC. Um, my name is Balazs Gal and we have the browser open right now. We tried typing something but in the German video, but let's try that again. It feels quite good and nice um, and we can really use it nicely for browsing. But the display is not the best because from the side the colors, uh, especially from the top, the colors go a little bit um, bad. So there's a different color to them than when you would use it regularly. It feels slow. It only has a 20, uh, 1024 times 600 resolution, as you can maybe see here in the specs, Android 4, but we have 3G connectivity. We haven't found the slot for that yet, but it looks actually quite okay, uh, um, except for this little slow um, changing displays thing. Otherwise, let's check out the camera. We have one on the front and the back, and we will see how those work. So you can see here I'm on the front camera. It's okay for Skyping, and the back camera, I think is maximum two megapixels is okay also, but the frames uh, per second could be faster. So we have on this device an on and off switch, micro USB for charging of course, um, a headphone port and microphone. On the, this side there is nothing, on the bottom there is also nothing and on the other side we have the volume control. So as I said there is no SIM card reader right now available. I think you have to take off here the top and then you will have the micro SD and SIM card right there I guess. Exactly, so we have dual SIM actually here inside and a micro SD card reader which is quite interesting in a tablet PC I haven't seen dual SIM yet. So this is um, yeah, really a brand new thing. And we have of course the speakers on the bottom and nothing else interesting here in this Lenovo IdeaTab A2107A um, tablet PC from the IFA 2012. My name is Balazs Galt, next time please tune in again. Das ist schon ziemlich schnell,